Hey guys, Brian here, aka Some Dude from KydexPro.com. I was responding to a thread the other day about edge finishing. Uh, like I, a lot of guys were posting how uh, they work through different grits of sandpaper and eventually end up at a uh, Scotch Brite pad to to get a finish on their holsters. I had posted that I use one of these things. This is a uh, card scraper. It's uh, mainly used in woodworking, and in woodworking it's actually used a lot of times after the person has sanded. Um, so it's a uh, leftover from my woodworking days. I figure it probably would work pretty good on Kydex if it works on wood. So just real quick overview on these things is if you can imagine the scraper blown up, this is what it would look like. Um, these edges here are actually burrs that that will do the cutting on this and they're they're microscopic they're very very small now if you decide to get a card scraper it's going to come without those burrs turned it's going to come just a flat piece of metal now uh, there's plenty of youtube videos out there on how to get a proper uh burr turned on it and uh, that'll affect you know the quality of of how it's going to work so i'll refer you to those other videos in, in order to get that. So real quick, I grabbed one of my holsters out of the graveyard just to kind of show you kind of what, what it looks like coming off of my, coming off of my 80 grit uh, sandpaper on the, on my belt sander. Um, I'd already hit this a couple times on my, my first take, but I do have a before picture that, that I'll post with the video so you could see what it looks like before. Uh, another thing I like using this card scraper for is on all of my inside the waistband holsters I like to knock down the edge of anything that's going to go up against your body and, and I'll demonstrate how easily it easily does that. So real quick basically you're going to take it and you're going to use it different angles depending on how you turn the burr but after doing it a couple times you'll get the feel of it. So. If you can see there, on there and on the top of the, the holster there, you're actually taking off little uh, little uh, shavings of the Kydex, and that's good because it helps cut down on all that Kydex dust that's floating around. Especially if you're working in your home, or maybe you got a, you know, you're in an apartment and you got a shop set up in the living room or something, it comes in real handy. So. I'm just going to work on this edge for a minute. So you guys trying to keep it there in the... So you can see the edge is getting, getting a little bit better as we're shaving off. It also does really good if you, if you got some, you know, a little bit more material to, to remove. You could get fairly aggressive with this thing and move off some decent a decent amount of, of kydex to kind of tweak your fit and then this last thing here is this edge and as you can see it comes off the shavings and just that quickly there you've got a nice nice edge there that's broken so I'm not going to go through the whole the whole thing. You guys kind of get the point. But there's that. There's the edge. Hit it a couple times with some Scotch Brite pads. And you can't. I don't know how well you could see. I'm going to take a an after picture after I work on this a little bit more. Scout's Honor is just going to be my trusty card scraper and a Scotch Brite pad and kind of give you an idea of, of what you could do with that. So hope this helps somebody. Uh, this is an awesome little tool and uh, I'm glad I was able to find a use for it uh, with, with my Kydex. So if you have any questions, I'm going to be posting this, the link to this video on the thread on KydexPro.com. Again, some dude, you can find me there. And uh, 
Hope you guys found this help helpful. Thanks.